the set of factors in Rn you are familiar with obviously form a vector space. However, there are more vector spaces. You cannot pick any set. You have to be able to add elements of a set and you have to be able to multiply them with a scalar. That is why, for example, a set of different stamps or a set of coins or whatever people are collecting nowadays is not a vector space, even though they are sets, because there's no way you can add two stamps in order to get a new stamp. So what are examples of vector spaces? In this video we will see that apart from Rn, three other vector spaces exist. So let us have a look. So start out with our familiar Rn, for example, so V is Rn, for example, for n equals 2, the factors are of the form x1, x2, where x1 and x2 are numbers and are Rn. Okay, we know those ones. Now let's see whether we can find other sets which are also vector spaces. Our first type is Pn. It's the space of all polynomials of degree n. So an element of Pn is a polynomial. A0 plus A1 times t plus A2 times t squared up to A n times t to the power n. A0, A1, etc. are all weights, are all scalars uh, in R and t is a variable. So if you have, for example, in a P1 we could have uh, P equals 1 plus t and Q equals 1 minus t. So two polynomials of degree 1. Now we have to be able to add them and to multiply them with the scalar and still get a new polynomial. Well, P plus Q, you just add them like you add functions point wise. So that equals 1 plus t plus 1 minus t is the function which is everywhere. 2, also a polynomial, uh, but uh, one a degree lower. And 2 times p, you also multiply point wise, so you mu multiply 2 plus 2 t, which is again a polynomial. So that's how you add and multiply them. And you can check that all 10 properties which need to be satisfied, they are all satisfied also for this vector space. We have more examples. V is the set of all continuous functions that has domain AB uh, to R. So codomain R, domain AB. For example, functions f of x sine x and g of x cosine x. So what is the addition and scalar multiplication here? Well, again, point-wise. So f plus g equals sine x plus cosine x, again a continuous function, and 2 times f, just 2 times the function sine x, is again a continuous function. So also this set, uh, set of all continuous functions, has a vector space with the usual point-wise addition and point-wise scalar multiplication. This set resembles this one. Be here you have only the polynomials, here you have all continuous functions. So in a sense this one is bigger. We will work mainly with the polynomials because this go already goes a bit too far. Finally, let's look at a bit more exotic one. The set V is Mn, the set of all M times N matrices. You could also define this as a vector space. It's just an illustration. Because if you add two matrices A and B, you know how to add them so that components wise we get 2, 2, 4, 4, 6, 6. We get a new 2 by 3 matrix. And 2 times b, for example, what goes also components wise, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0. Well, actually, the set of matrices can be used as a vector space, but then the operations are defined usually slightly different. So we won't look too much into this one. Actually, this one is the most interesting one. But it's a bit more advanced, so we focus mainly on the polynomials in the remainder of the web lectures.